No, is it good? Hmm. Doug, who is a complete TV snob. Okay, is it okay? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yes. thank you. Is bored to tears by most TV. He's mesmerized by it. And he taunts me. Oh, another episode this week. Oh, another episode this week. Yeah, it is a regular network, which is pretty outstanding because it's pretty sexy and um I like that actor. And they're playing John Oh, Rice I Myers. love him. John Rice Myers. He did um if you've never seen the Tudors. <laughs> Um, That's so when I good. fell in love with him. The Tudors is good. Wait, it's, so, woman... it's so very R rated. Oh, very. <laughs> it's so very R rated. Very. Depending upon which of the wives we're speaking of, too. Yeah. Some of them were. Woohoo! Mm. When it goes to like HBO or yeah. whatever, you know, those things. Oh, they can do anything. They can do anything. Magic oh, well, this City. is straight up sex. Just Magic straight up. City, yeah, it's too much for us. Straight up sexy, beautiful. As Ballers the time just, period Ballers was. Which is coming, it's supposed to be HBO, so I'm like, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. See. Well, Oak also. Uh huh. Is, HBO, yeah. is it? Mm -hmm. It will be HBO, so mm -hmm. I heard. Um, what was I going to say? I thought that was that Baxter something. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. And yeah. Tudor, Tudors gave us both him right. and our favorite new Superman. The new Superman, yeah, he was great. He was great, Henry, I thought. Henry, 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 is that Henry, Henry Cavill, yeah. Cavill. Cavill. He was the. Um, he was Henry's best friend throughout Brandon, the entire thing. And he's Lord. the one who marries um, Gabrielle. Gabrielle, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that was her gig right before. Yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, my daughter. <laughs> you know, have you ever actually watched. Todd Bruno has a thing like this. I don't know if you've seen it. No. Todd Bruno. Yeah, it's just people eating and talking about movies. He has a web show like that. It's amazing. Uh, film state. So well, I'm sure. just letting you know, Todd, Mario's after your dick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Two, two, two girls suit. and a guy eating. That's two girls and a guy <laughs> eating. That's the show right there. With food so. hanging out our mouths. Nah. <laughs> Forget what's just Asi Asian taco is amazing. Um... Yeah, the two, the two double features I saw today, right before you guys got here, from All is Lost, to Hobbit are like the complete opposites because one is nothing and one is like the largest cast you know like a cast of thousands kind of thing but you know what what, I, what fascinated me and I'd love to look it up hmm. there was definitely some GoPro shots in there yeah there were I'm guaranteeing so like, the water was GoPro the water, the water. yeah the barrel sequence there was like at least I mean they cut to it a couple times like a point of view shot yeah yep. and I'm 90% sure it was a GoPro shot if not a GoPro at least like some sort of like handheld like hmm. something because you can wear GoPros anywhere on your body right those guys could just have them attached or on to stunt people who are right. in. Right. So you still get movement, too. And the sweet, the quality also, like, mm -hmm. it goes. And he did that in um, Two Towers, really in a similar scene after Aragorn's, like, knocked mm -hmm. out. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like, he's knocked out, and mm -hmm. there's a shot where, like, Aragorn's riding his horse, and it's just, like, a shot that doesn't belong in the movie. It almost looks like a blooper. And they did it in this one, and I was like, it's a very clever device to sort of like put you in the movie, or take you out of the story for a second, to mm -hmm. give you that mm -hmm. perspective of loss. First and person. Yeah, first person. Mm. GoPros are magical. That mm -hmm. was my favorite. The whole barrel scene. Mm. That was my favorite. That was amazing. That was but and you, know, you giggle. Whenever somebody gets killed, you giggle. Colossal. Because, to me... That was hilarious. It was the start of it, once he's sort of like kicking mm -hmm. the um, the ramp. Mm -hmm. It became this very like Buster Keaton. Mm -hmm. It became a very like um, I want to say like a Buster Keaton sequence. Even from his body language, like he was sort of like. Yep. <laughs> and then the flawless little like execution. Now, a lot of that stuff was done before the CGI era with an amazing amount of yes rehearsal. But with the CGI, it just made it like one flaw. Like the whole thing where like they're mowing down, mowing down. Mm -hmm. It's like one shot. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it was, it was extremely clever. Yeah, weeks. I would imagine weeks of shooting. Yeah. But when you see that, it's just such a quick cut between a real shot and 
a green screen somewhere a month later and cleaning it up in CGI, but you still have to choreograph this, like, bum, 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 bum. That's mm -hmm. the biggest thing for me is, like, thinking about, like, the level of films that we've done. Yeah. Well, you've done more, probably, you've been around bigger well. things. A little bit, but like just thinking about my brain goes to how do you in your mind see that? Like, you, you, like when I'm looking at that entire sequence of shots, like he had to. See I can it, tell you right now. You know what I mean? Watching the whole thing of what they're doing every day with the dolphins, knowing that there is a large dolphin that will be a small dolphin, mm -hmm. knowing how everybody has to move, how everyone has to think, how everybody has to react, how everybody has. To, because everything is about the FX that have to join hand in hand. So to hear them talking, what an experience. Because everything is plotted out, certainly to serve the story. Certainly not about the FX, but it will serve to make it what we couldn't do. I mean, you can't run with a little baby doll, huh? No, no, but that was amazing. Oh, and did you know the guy that had we had there? Jobs? Was he said he's the uh, no somebody next to him said you look like a, a petite Steve Jobs <laughs> and oh. he's one of two of the designers of you're speaking of the designers of the technology of no, the tail no, yeah 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 there were there were guys there that were um, you know like Morgan Freeman characters Morgan Freeman's character is one guy but they're really the Irish guy the one oh, that yeah, I met yeah yeah I know what you're saying yeah, yeah there was like ten doctors that were there yep. and a lot of them are vets with mm -hmm, mm -hmm. amputees no I meant I meant um. The night we're doing that, the thing where Hope comes in, the little baby dolphin, mm -hmm. the um, we had um, Stephen McCullough. He was an extra. He was the one that came in with the large with the Harbor Branch with people. the Harbor That's Rescue. That's what I was yeah. telling you about. Yeah. And he yeah. um, he was the one that actually brought in Hope. Mm -hmm. That okay. brought in that dolphin. So he was just standing there next to Harry Connick, but in reality, he was the one that actually ran out car carrying the dolphin. And he's such a gentleman. Yeah, yeah. He, he grabs a, you know how cold he were. He grabs a jacket yeah. off of the. He grabs a jacket that's in the shot already, established in the ambulance, yeah, he just gives it some brings it over to me, and says, you know, I suppose they're going to need this back for when we eventually roll camera, but here, I want you to have this. So I'm figuring, well, if he's handing it to me, they ain't nobody going to tell him no. <laughs> that was a really tough night. It was cold. It was very cold. Everybody was out there. Do you know that they had to get the medic for John? For which John? Morgan, Stan, and John. John asked. Oh, really? Oh, Archie. Archie. Archie, his, um... He had heart palpitations. You guys no. okay? Yeah, we're doing great. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. That's scary. His, um... His chest muscles began to contract to warm him. Oh, All of the little... No way. Teeny suture muscles between your, um, ribs. And if you've ever had a good punch, you know yeah. how badly they can hurt? Yeah, absolutely. When you get really cold to the point of uncontrollable shivering, they'll be one of the last defenses of your heart. And that's what was happening. Wow. So George came over, and George's like, you, inside. He's yeah. with me now. Took him in, blood pressure, the whole nine yards. You know how good George is. I've, I've been on movies where people get hypothermia like that. We're doing, like, beach scenes in December. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. The people don't like, understand. I was keeping my jackets on. I was keeping everything on. And, like, they, they were collecting them with the baskets, but I kept them in my purse. Yeah, sure. My purse was big enough, so I stuffed in there so I could get it. Get that works. Faster. I was just trying to put it on the floor. And yeah. Benita was really good about making sure that yeah. they didn't touch them until the very end. She actually made tough. that comment several times. Tough. Nobody touches those jackets until we're done. Actually, at one point, somebody tried to take them. Did you hear her comment? Yeah, she got upset. She got pretty upset. We're going to do this like a real movie. Yeah. They keep them until we roll. Well. Wow. It was getting bad. It was getting cold. It was at least in the, the 50s. At it that, was easily. I remember right by the water and the breeze and everything. You know, that's the, what the wind. did it, was it was a chilly, the humid wind. water. Yeah, mm -hmm. the wind. And when the wind would come, that would just go right through to your bones. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! And, I mean, everyone was in sundresses, right. and, you know, flip-flops, and, I mean, you had Thank nothing. you, Florida, for being so helpful. No. Of that's all just the weeks, how many days has it been? It's totally fine right now. Like, it would totally feel fine It right would have been great today, yeah, exactly. But no, it's the day you're the one, one day. Mm -hmm. And they said that was three years to the day of the anniversary that they brought her in. The real was, one. Because it was the rap party. Is that why they, is that why they uh, no. chose it? No. I think it was an incredible out. coincidence. Mm -hmm. Wow. And they were saying that it was also almost exactly like um, Winter's Stranding. Mm -hmm. How she was found, who she was found with. Mm -hmm. The woman that found same her guy, is the McCall. same. Both of them. That same guy was there for both rescues. That's crazy. And carried him in. And the woman who actually discovered on the beach, there's some commonality there, too. I forget. Yeah, something weird. 
looks like she has dolphin sense, so we should send her out often. Send her, yeah, she just goes to the beach every day. Um, what was I going to say? You know, like, for example, like, watching The Hobbit, watching that whole elaborate sequence with the barrels, it's like, you're never going to know, I mean, we, the audience, will never know what was on a location right. and what was on a studio. Because, like, thinking about Iron Man 3, like, how little we actually shot on set, mm -hmm. and then, like, watching these incredible, like, sequences, and I'm like, oh... Okay, like they must have just shot the rest of that in Green Tree in L.A. that we weren't there for, and then like just had, yep. you know, whatever the all the Miami sequences that we Even shot. Even though you were there, do you have a hard time figuring out? I could tell. Complete. Well, no, no, because I remember shooting it. Right, right. I'm just surprised. Or I remember being present for it. But I was just shocked by like how it cut together so seamlessly, seamless. yeah. and then the elements that tied together. And I'm sure in their mind, you know, it was choreographed a certain way, or. You know, with CG, you can kind of fix your story problems, I There's think. a layering effect that yeah. you yeah. often hear them talking about. And, I mean, shoot, even just that elevator. The number of images that they reconsulted when we got to the sound stage because all of the business of everybody walking into the elevator. So remember, we did it at the hotel. There was the whole walk oh, and talk yeah. of all the main characters into oh, the yeah. elevator, ba 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 ba. Well, all the rest of it was shot a week later, on yeah. the sound stage. So when we got there... It was one of the best recreations I've ever seen. Yeah, we had it to bring all those people back. It wasn't half-assed. It was... Whole-assed, yeah. Whole-assed. <laughs> it was a whole-assed elevator. Let me tell you. Big-ass elevator. <laughs> well, okay. Mm. Yes, winning lottery ticket. Winning lottery ticket. Please. <laughs> Keep trying. One of these days, they're just going to plop it down in front of me. I'll share. I mean, come on. This is spicier than I thought, and I'm almost full. I know, I know. I'm gonna have to take taquito home. I did a pretty good job. With it. I did too, and I was I was making sure to do lots of vegetables. Oh. I oh, you did. I haven't touched my salad. That, that's secondary. Right, I'll take this home. <laughs> I don't know how that green thing got on my food. I don't want that. I had all meat and cheeses on this. This green thing made it in there. He's <laughs> like, come on. No. A little bit. Somebody else's greens no. contaminated you. I once had a director on Bernia to see that I only had like chicken and veg like I had chicken and like macaroni on my plate. Uh huh. And he's like, You need to have a salad. I'm like, I'm fine with my chicken and macaroni. And he made me a salad and brought it back to me. And he put it, he's like, This is your salad now. I was like, Okay, I have to eat the salad. Okay. Like, you're, you're the boss, sir. <laughs> I've been directed by the director mm. to eat my salad. I didn't know when to stop. No. I was like, It's lunch. You can relax. It's so good. <laughs> No, really, stand down, stand down. I have to direct my lunch. Um, uh, I really, I have to watch Hobbit again. Because yeah. I just, um. Because it'll be the details. The details. I told Doug we were going tonight and he's, there was silence. <laughs> I know, I told Chris, I was like, would you be mad at me if I went and saw The Hobbit? Because you didn't see the first one. That's the first thing you said. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I said, didn't you buy it? Because I thought we bought it on iTunes. I have everything on iTunes. But I, yeah, I haven't seen it. So, um, yeah, I just kind of jumped right in. Why not? Why not? Yeah. I told him, of course I'll see it again with you. Yeah, I'll yeah. see it again. I'll see it I'll again. I'll see it again. We, we didn't have to, uh, you know, okay? No, yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. Thank you, yeah. No.